Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Eric Holland, Director of Strategic Growth Initiatives for Keysight's Quantum Engineering Solutions Group. It's an honor and a privilege today to be your host as we kick off our virtual series to introduce our next generation quantum control system, or QCS. By providing insights and deep technical dives from the nearly 100 quantum scientists and engineers and programmers that made it possible. For those new to Keysight, we're an S&P 500 company with roots going back more than 80 years to Bill Hewlett and David Packard and the original Silicon Valley startup. Today, we are a company of more than 14,000 people in over 100 countries. Keysight is an industry differentiator by providing high value workflow enabling tools empowering the digital revolution in wireless communication, aerospace and defense, and from today onwards, quantum. More than four years ago, Keysight committed to designing and developing a next generation quantum control system that would meet the needs of the community for the coming decade. After speaking with dozens of quantum scientists, engineers, and innovators, three key themes emerged that form the pillars of our QCS design. They are high performance, future-proof scalability, and ease of use. Let's start with high performance. For single shot, phase coherent signal generation and acquisition, the only suitable solution for quantum is digital. With decades of design experience, Keysight is the trailblazer in high speed, wide bandwidth ASICs for robust, reliable, and coherent signal generation. At the core of our quantum control system is a Keysight innovation in direct digital conversion. This proprietary ASIC was designed and developed by Keysight to meet the signal generation needs of rapidly emerging markets like quantum. Many of you are familiar with direct digital synthesis as a reliable and robust platform to generate high quality CW signals. Direct digital conversion is an advance that allows one to generate arbitrary waveform shapes in the one to 16 gigahertz range directly, or down convert an incoming signal for say qubit readout while retaining phase information. Let's go through an example to see how DVC works. All of what I'll describe occurs on a chip about the size of your thumbnail. The first part is the operating frequency. There is an embedded numerically controlled oscillator that generates a time discrete output for a particular operating frequency. In our system, this can be set anywhere between DC and 16 gigahertz. This example is done at three gigahertz. The next part is the waveform shape. Complex IQ waveform data is rapidly streamed as a discrete time signal into the ASIC. In this example, it's a Gaussian profile sampled at 4.8 gigasamples per second with only a real component. These two signals are convolved digitally to produce a single time discrete waveform. This final waveform is turned into a continuous or analog signal by going through the digital to analog converter or DAC. The DAC in our ASIC has 20 gigahertz of bandwidth and acts as a 20 gigahertz low pass filter. Explicitly, our signals are generated only in the first Nyquist zone and there are no tricks played with higher Nyquist zone sampling or otherwise. Now that we have gone over the operational principles of DDC, what are the benefits for quantum? Since the signal generation is all done digitally, this means phase is now a deterministic and user-definable real-time quantity for not only that channel, but by all channels in the system. We'll describe this more when we get to scalability. The upshot is this will decrease systematic gate errors, improve the robustness of dispersive readout, as well as enable efficient single qubit operations and error correction through virtual Z gates. Finally, the phase noise performance of the output signal rivals that of some of Keysight's flagship signal generators, such as the PSG. Why is this the case? Most analog generators use PLLs in their clocking mechanism, and that leads to a characteristic knee bend in the phase noise in the hundreds of megahertz. At a high level, one can think of a PLL as a frequency multiplier, so any input noise will be increased. However, digital systems are a frequency divider. Any input noise is decreased. The net outcome is terrific phase noise performance across a wide range of operating frequencies. However, for quantum, we know that a single high-performance channel by itself is insufficient to enable quantum innovation. So let's talk about the second pillar, future-proof scalability. Quantum is a rapidly emerging field requiring control systems capable of enabling your technology roadmap as it evolves. An example of future-proof scalability is that we created a low-noise, distributed clocking mechanism embedded into our PXI chassis that drives down jitter or skew to hundreds of femtoseconds for single and multi-chassis systems. This embedded reference clock, combined with our digital signal generation, is what enables real-time, user-defined, multi-channel, multi-chassis phase coherence. For our system architecture, we embedded a high-performance FPGA on each module, providing a distributed intelligence that enables maximum flexibility and control flow, as well as low-latency digital signal processing. 
To support these powerful FPGAs, we had to innovate a next generation PXI chassis to ensure power distribution and cooling, no matter the application. Electing to go with a standard interface such as PXI was something seen as essential based on the feedback from the quantum community, as it enables maximum flexibility. Finally, we know that changes in room temperature can negatively impact signal quality of analog systems. Since all of our signal generation occurs within the ASIC, it is robust to changes in the ambient room temperature. This is a nice segue to our final pillar, ease of use. There are no external LOs, there are no IQ mixers. Consequently, there is no IQ calibration and no IQ calibration downtime ever. The RF connectivity and maintenance has been streamlined. Multi-chassis connectivity is as easy as adding another cable, and it is easier than ever to grow and evolve your control infrastructure for quantum research and development. We didn't just make the hardware easy, we made the software easy too. Quantum scientists and engineers need software that allows them to focus on their research and not the implementation. In our QCS platform, we've developed an entirely new quantum-specific Python API that does just that. It has been designed with the application in mind to allow researchers to focus on their core mission, science. This quantum-specific Python API connects seamlessly to a user-configurable FPGA IP library. With our solution, the user does not need to be an FPGA expert to leverage all of the hardware acceleration afforded by them. Furthermore, the API has been abstracted to separate out system configuration from the experiment. We have also included a database and calibration framework to improve day-to-day -day operations as well as device parameters and performance comparison. We are long-term committed to providing the best user experience and welcome feedback on what your effort needs to be successful. Curious what this looks like in action? Let's see our Hello Quantum World. We're going to generate a five gigahertz Gaussian pulse. We start by defining the pulse sequence via the API. These commands get sent to the control system. In this example, we have the output of the AWG split so that one side goes to a high-speed UXR oscilloscope so we can observe the pulse at frequency. The other side of the splitter goes through the down converter and is recorded by the digitizer. Here we see the direct output of the AWG. We zoom in to show five oscillations per period to see that it is a five gigahertz signal. We now look at the time trace saved by the digitizer. This trace has a Gaussian profile and includes an intentional detuning between the AWG and the down converter to include an intermediate frequency oscillation. And that is our QCS in action. We're thrilled you joined us today for the kickoff to our introduction series on our next generation digital quantum control system. If you would like to learn more about our control system's high performance, future-proof scalability, and ease of use, be sure to check out the technical deep dives on the hardware and software from our R&D teams throughout the summer. If you would like more information, you can visit our website at keysight.com forward slash find forward slash quantum. You can follow us on Twitter at KeysightQ or on LinkedIn at Keysight Quantum Engineering Solutions. Additionally, you can contact us directly. Philip, Christine, or Maxim would be more than happy to speak with you. Finally, remember to leave some questions in the chat for us to answer in the upcoming session. Thanks again and see you soon.